out of work and left to pay some bills. Some athletes say that the American Alliance of Football has done them wrong. Welcome to Good Day Memphis this morning. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. And I'm John Paul. The hard knocks really keep coming for Memphis's football team. This latest experiment is over, lasting only eight weeks. All week long, former Memphis Express players have been sounding off on social media. Local 24 News reporter Dave Deathling live here in the studio this morning with more on the fallout. Dave. Hey, good morning. Well, show me the money. That's the message from bill collectors to former players of the Memphis Express. We're talking hotel bills that weren't paid by the league. Vendors saying money is owed. And then there are the fans who bought tickets. Now, there's a ripple effect spreading through the Bluff City, and it stems from this week's surprise folding of the Alliance of American Football League. Lots of things are still in limbo. One area restaurant says it's out hundreds of dollars for a Mardi Gras event that it hosted. Players have taken to Twitter saying that they're now having to dispute hotel bills that they say they're not responsible for, and they're trying to get that squared away with the AAF. They feel like they've been done dirty, and despite the heat they're bringing, Memphis Express's GM seems to be cool, calm, and collected in his response to the league shut down earlier this week. Very much appreciative of the support that we got from the Memphis fans. Um, the only thing that you feel bad about is that you weren't able to uh, um, win more games and, uh, and uh, sustain the, uh, the team here in town. Now, as for ticket holders, the league says it's working on sorting out payment details, silver lining for the players. The AAF announcing on Twitter that they are authorized to sign with the NFL and other leagues. Live in studio this morning, Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.